person so one person standing in the prayer praying without any khushur then he said to him oh so and so the narrator didn't want to mention his name don't you fear Allah don't you see how do you pray each one of you when he stands he is confidentially speaking to Allah that means munajah as we say in Arabic let him see how he speaks to Allah. And we've been told by the Prophet that the first thing that would be raised from the Ummah. What is the first thing that would be raised from the Ummah? Al Khushu'ah. You should want to go to the Masjid, but I tell you, you're about to enter the mosque while you find no one having Khushu'ah in his way. A lot of Muslims, but no Khushu'ah. Now we want to know why those things have been hated for the Muslim to do in his prayer. For example, number one, it is extremely hateful or hated that the Muslim comes to the prayer while he is hungry. The Prophet said, if, it, if the salah had been established, the iqamah, and you are about to eat, don't go to the mosque until you take your primary need of your food. Why? The Prophet doesn't want you to go to the, to the prayer while you're hungry because you'll be distracted by your stomach. Anything else? Yes. The Prophet said, لا صلاة بحضرة طعام There is no prayer when you are eating. Take, your, take the bites you need and then go to the mosque. ولا وهو يدافع أخبتين and he should not be performing the prayer while he is trying to struggle his call of nature. Should not be resisting his call of nature. Among, as uh, Abu Darda said, among the fiqh of the person, that means it's the, the soundness and understanding of the, of the Muslim, that he goes first to empty his stomach so his heart will be ready and free. To be, to be in a clinging to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when the Prophet saw someone who does not really know how to, pro, to pro, uh, perform the prayer, the Prophet said, to, he taught him, then he said, then stand, hatta tatma'inda wa qa'ima. Then, take ruku' hatta tatma'inna raki'a. Then, raise up from ruku' hatta tatma'inna qa'im. What does it mean, hatta tatma'inna, hatta tatma'inna, hatta tatma'in? That means, when you see, when you you make your standing perfectly, and you feel reassurance while you're doing it. reassurance, the scholars, all of them said that reassurance in the prayer is rukun among the al pillars. This is the one of the pillars of the prayer to feel reassurance in the Why? Because tumatnina is uh, uh, rukun, as the prophet mentioned. It. The prayer with khushu'a. What does it? What does it result? It results forgiveness. Because why do you want to pray? Because you want to be forgiven. And we were told by the Prophet ﷺ that if you pray fajr and then you perform dhuhr, if you perform dhuhr perfectly as you should be and as well fajr, what had been done of sins between the two prayers will be will be forgiven. As the Prophet said, "Man bin Muslim Muslimin tahtruhu salatu maktuba, fa yusim wudu'a." There's no Muslim that he uh, has to perform a prayer in which he performs its wudu perfectly and khushu'a perfectly. He mentioned the word khushu'a, awareness, fearing Allah in the prayer. Wa rukuha illa kana kafara lima qabla hal nadru, but it will be a cause of forgiveness. For the period between this prayer and the prior prayer. So this would be a solution for us, we sinners. How many of us we sin by day and night? Don't we need that forgiveness? So perform the prayer with khushu'ah in order to achieve that forgiveness. We were this, we were, we are prohibited from remembering anything in the prayer except one thing. One thing only. Remember your death. Because if you remember your death in your prayer, you will come back. 
your attendance in your prayer. Shaitan will never be taken you away. My brothers and faith, this is my commandment and recommendation for you to perform the prayer with khushua. Wallahi, I guarantee to you, inshallah, forgiveness and sweetness that you feel in your hearts every time you perform the prayer. هذا وصلى وسلم على أشرف النبي وأفرم الناد فقد أمركم ربكم عز وجل في ذلك فقال إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد وصلت على إبراهيم وآل إبراهيم وبارك على محمد وآل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد الله الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا إلا تذكرة لمن يخشى تنزيلا ممن خلق الأرض والسماوات العلى الرحمن على العرش استوى له ما في السماوات وما في الأرض وما بينهما وما تحت الثرى وإن تجهر بالقول فإنه يعلم السر وأخفى الله لا إله إلا هو له الإسماء الحسنى الله الله أكبر الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين قد أفلح المؤمنون الذين هم في صلاتهم خاشعون والذين هم عن اللغو معرضون والذين هم للزكاة فاعلون والذين هم لفروجهم حافظون إلا على أزواجهم أو ما ملكت أيمانهم فإنهم غير مذومين فمن ابتغى والذين هم بأماناتهم وعهدهم راعون والذين هم على صلواتهم يحافظون أولئك هم الوارثون الذين يرثون الفردوس هم فيها 